Hello. Once again, I come before you as a representative of the Illuminati. You may call me the man. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm sure most of you saw the video that we put up last week, and if you haven't seen it, you can actually click right here and, and watch this little, uh, little thing. We were forced to take on a sponsor because we've been overspending much like every government in the entire world, actually, at this point. Everybody seems to be overspending, but uh, we're kind of pressured, you know, the Anunnaki audit is underway, and so we, we overspent our budget and for a short time had to take on sponsors. And uh, I'm happy to say that we found a way around it. Thanks to our good friend Lainey, uh, President Assad of Syria is missing, oh, about a hundred million dollars. and. <laughs> Oh, I wonder where that went. So, uh, anyway, we will no longer be putting Chanel Number no. 5 in the chemtrails. Uh, we are no longer sponsored by them in any way. So, yes, and uh, yeah, taking money from dictators, it feels good. Um, now, to go to this, uh, this week's comment or question. Um, a lot of the comments and questions we get over and over and over again are, Hey, I hear the Illuminati are Satanists. Is it true? And if you're not Satanist, what god do you worship? Well, uh, I have to say, the Illuminati is kind of a business, and so we don't really worship a god, as a, so to speak. And it's definitely not Satan, uh, which actually wouldn't be a deity, it would be an anti-deity. Um, anyway, no, uh, I mean, it, it's, it's kind of weird. You don't, you don't uh, really think to ask that question when you walk into your supermarket and say, Hey, which god do you worship before you buy the groceries or... Uh, we call your phone company and say, uh, before I, I make this phone call, uh, what god are you worshiping at the moment? Uh, it, it, it seems kind of strange. But uh, anyway, I, I know where some of this comes from. Uh, some of it is very seasonally related, you know, because it's Halloween almost, and people are, uh, well, they're, they're always putting two and two together, you know. It's dark and creepy, so it must be Satanist. And it's kind of funny because All Hallows' Eve is actually a Catholic holiday, so... In that regard, it's kind of a Christian thing. Um, you know, it's the eve before All Hallows' Day, All Saints' Day. And uh, so that's kind of how things got started, as they were replacing another culture. But I know how things get going, you know, things that are of a different culture that you're not part of, well, it must be Satanist. Um, and I know some of that stuff comes from, you know, the Bohemian Grove. And if you haven't seen the Bohemian Grove video, you can, you can click right here. And, uh, and see what's going on there when well, I let you know that we are not worshiping Satan when we have our little mock uh, care ritual there in front of the big owl. We're actually worshiping knowledge, wisdom. And, um, you know, everybody needs a little more wisdom. It's all kind of a big play. It's big fun, you know. We're just putting all of our cares away and, and then a majority of us go get drunk for about three days. And uh, anyway, that's uh, that's got nothing to do with Satanism either. As a matter of fact, Laney's a Presbyterian. Uh, Hugh's been Episcopal at least twice, uh, depending upon what girl he's with. And Johnson, you know, you know, Johnson prefers not to say who he worships. And so, you know, we respect that. So uh, anyway, yeah, it, no Satanists here. Right, Johnson? No. no Satanists here, and uh, yeah, I hope that answers your questions. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments section below. And, uh, you know, as long as we're talking about religions, it might be a good idea to borrow something from the Christian religion and uh, love your neighbor as yourself right now, because the Anunnaki audit is still in operation, and uh, I'm afraid that we've run out of reruns to distract them with, and so they are paying attention once again. The election's only a couple weeks away. Or if you've seen this video after that, it was a couple weeks away when we made it. And uh, so we'll get out of all that negativity pretty soon. And um, that's going to be good. And then we move into the Christmas season, I hope. And uh, we all get to see, you know, more peace on earth and goodwill toward men. So, uh, yeah, yeah, if you could be nice to your neighbor, that would be great right now. That really would help us out. And uh, when you see those chemtrails blazing in the sky... Don't worry about Chanel number five. Just uh, relax and breathe deeply. <laughs>